Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Vivo V23 5G versus the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco X3 Pro is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor with 8 GP of RAM while the Vivo V23 is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 925G processor with a 12 GP of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Poco while on the Vivo, we have triple cameras we have 48 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While on the Vivo, we have 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 2 megapixel macro. And the back of the Vivo is made up of glass, while the Poco has a plastic back. While the frame of the Vivo is made up of aluminium, while the Poco has a plastic frame. Also on the POCO, we have fingerprint scanner on the side, while on the Vivo, we have in-display fingerprint scanner. Also on the sides of the Vivo V23 5G is completely flat, which gives a more premium feel over the POCO X3 Pro. Also the POCO X3 Pro is a more thicker phone, and you can see as compared to the Vivo because of their battery sizes. And you can see, you can stand this phone like this without any problem because we have flat size yes and the flat size is inspired from iphone on the bottom we also have a headphone jack on the poco which is not really available on the vivo also we have single speaker versus the dual speakers on the poco so in this video i'm going to show you how is the vivo v23 5g is stacked up against the poco x3 pro in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys, now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logos came up first on the Vivo. Also, we have Android 12 on both phones. We have MIUI version 13 versus the Fun Touch OS version 12. Let's see who is faster. And Poco X3 Pro is more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the Vivo. About one second difference there between these two devices. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Vivo, we have 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 90 Hz refresh rate, while on the Poco X3 Pro, we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus. IPS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate as well. Also, we have single FFC camera inside this punch hole versus a dual FFC camera inside this notch. And the bezels around the display, it is much smaller on the Vivo because we have flat sides as compared to rounded on the Poco X3 Pro. Now, let's see apps opening speed. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now, let's open up phone dialer. That is very similar on both phones. Next on the list is the settings. Faster on the Poco. Now let's go to the display. We have 90 Hz refresh rate versus a 120 Hz on the Poco. So now let's check out some more application. Opening up Amazon shopping with same Wi-Fi network. That is very similar on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling. Very, very smooth, but a little more smoother. On the Poco, if I see very closely, but not a huge difference. Now let's open this. That is also very similar. So now let's check out some games application. Now let's see that how is the meter attack Dimensity 920 is stack up against the Snapdragon 860. Now let's opening up the Candy Crush Sega. Candy Crush is faster on the Poco as compared to the Vivo. Instagram, faster on the Vivo. Opening up Pinout. Pinout is also very similar. Now let's open Snapchat. Faster on the Vivo. Opening up Spotify. Spotify is very similar. Let's see Subway Surfer. And the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 is more faster as compared to the Minitech. Dimensity 920, huge difference in the Subway Surfer application. Now let's opening up the Temper N2. And Temper N2. Faster on the Poco X3 Pro, but not a huge difference. And the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 is performing very similar as compared to the Meditech Dimensity 920. Now let's open up the Twitter. That is faster on the Vivo. Now let's open up Zedge. 
and Z is faster on the Vivo this time as compared to the Poco. Poco is taking a lot of time this time. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, very smooth on both phones. 120 hertz is obviously more smoother as compared to 90 hertz. So last time I launched in the cameras on both phones, default camera application. Now let's see who is going to be the fastest one. And the Poco is a little more faster there. As far as the camera performance are concerned, it is much better on the Vivo. Now let's look at the front camera. The front camera is one of the best on the Vivo because we have 50 megapixel main camera on the front versus a 20 megapixel, I believe. Okay guys, now let's see internet burn speed. I am seeing to fall Google Chrome on both phones. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network. Now let's opening up Wikipedia. Little more faster on the Poco as compared to the Vivo. Now let's see the scrolling. And that is face more smoother on the Poco. In the side, I see little bit lag on both phones, but I notice more lag on the Vivo. Now let's open this English. That is very similar. Again, in terms of the scrolling wise, it feels more smoother on the Poco. Next on the list is the Apple.com and apple.com is faster on the poco as you can see huge faster there and the vivo it is also done as well let's see the scrolling again more smoother on the poco it, it is a little bit choppy on the vivo so now let's see ram management on both phones on the poco we have 8 gp of ram versus a 12 gp on the vivo phone dialer refresh on the poco Opening up settings, no refresh. Amazon shopping, that card refresh on the Vivo. On the Poco, I believe. Let's see Candy Crush Sega, refresh on the Poco. Instagram, that is, seems like in app refresh. Let's see Pinout, Pinout is refresh on the Poco. Let's see Snapchat, refresh. Let's see Spotify, refresh. Subway Suffer, that card refresh on both phones. Let's see Temper and 2. Tamper and 2 is refresh on the Poco. Now let's open up the Twitter. No refresh. Zedge. Last we back to the internet browser. If we left and you can see. And cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that the Poco XC Pro is performing a little more faster as compared to the Vivo. Only in the game app store in time. As far as the system based application are concerned. It is very similar on both phones. In terms of the RAM device. And the Vivo B23 5G is performing much better in the RAM management. We only have one refresh on the Vivo, while on the Poco we have a lot of refresh. And the RAM management it is really bad after the Android 12 update on the Poco. Now let's talk about the battery sizes. On the Vivo we have 4300 damage of battery size with the 44 watt fast charging, while with the Poco we have 5160 damage of battery size with the 33 watt fast charging. And that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the vivo v23 5g versus the poco xe pro let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out